Hello, Equilibrium community. This is dosage specialist Althea coming to you from EQ headquarters. I'm just gonna wait a couple moments um, to have more people join us. But today, it, this is our EQ and U live um, Wednesday series, and I'm so happy to be back. A couple weeks ago, I was here talking about mindfulness and CBD, and we're gonna stick with that um, with that topic there and just talk about some unwinding with CBD, winding down at the end of your day. So just a couple more minutes, but while we're waiting, I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce myself again. I'm Althea, I've been with EQ for several months now and I have a biomedical engineering degree. I've been in the CBD industry for two and a half years now. If I have had a call with you, um, I'm so glad that you're engaging more um, with our IG lives here. So um, before I do get started, I'm just going to take a half dropper. I get really nervous when hopping on these. Um, so if none of you have taken your afternoon dose, I'm gonna go ahead and just take my half dropper, do a couple deep breaths, and I would so love if you joined me. Oh, I didn't know this bottle was running out. Time for a new one. Cool. So just a couple deep breaths there and the way that I just took that half dropper I love taking some deep breaths there really helps slow my breath down and for me when I take CBD You know in the middle of the day at the end of my day I really do find that it kind of you know slows down my heart rate really keeps me focused in the moment so like I said today, we're just going to talk about unwinding with CBD, whether that's at the end of your workday, before you go to bed, um, very different ways to kind of think about the word unwinding. Um, but, you know, really what you can try doing on top of your consistent routine, um, you know, pairing your daily drops, for example, with exercise. We'll start off with that. Um, so exercise, if you're someone who likes to take a walk at the end of your day or um, just like to exercise kind of, you know, before you do your nighttime routine. Um, you know, studies show that pairing CBD with exercise can really amplify the endorphins released in your body. So, you know, the endorphins are the reason that, you know, those good chemicals that make you feel that, you know that runners high especially things like dopamine and anandamide um, anandamide you know if you've heard of it before we like to call it that bliss molecule and it's that compound that's responsible for that runner's high so really CBD can help keep that anandamide in your body and on top of that another way to pair your CBD is by taking it with some dark chocolate which you know has it bonds really nicely that added boost of anandamide as well um, so you know 15 minutes before your exercise before your walk take some CBD and notice if you're you know feeling a little more zen a little more in the moment and a little more present during your walk or your exercise um, for me personally I do like taking walks after dinner or after after work, um, really working from home in the past year. Um, I'm in the office today, which is so nice, such a good balance there um, to have a little bit of work from home, work um, in the office. But I do find that working from home, there isn't a very good transition from switching my brain from work mind to home mind. So, you know, as you close your laptop, whatever you're doing, if you're working from home, taking a half dropper as you're finishing work, if you're going to go for that walk um, or if you are commuting you can take that half dropper before your commute and take another half dropper when you get home and see if there's any difference um, you know a lot of members have that really busy evening routine especially if you're a mom you know cooking for kids getting kids ready for bed um, so you know it helps you be a little more present in the moment um, that you know feel a little more patient with your with your um, winding down dose there um, but you know another reason that is really great to use CBD for unwinding is if you're someone who reaches for some wine at the end of your day um, you know I hear a lot that at the end of the, your day it's nice to have just you know a cocktail or a glass of wine um, a few hours in the evening but 
you know, with that, sometimes alcohol can disrupt your sleep. So, you know, your sleep suffers when you drink too much alcohol, maybe one or two glasses turns into four or five. Um, and in moderation, pairing CBD with alcohol is, is moderately safe. Sometimes you may just want to keep an eye out for, you know, if you are someone who has two glasses of wine, maybe you only need one. Um, but you know, if you're taking them together or you can really just replace your alcohol with CBD as well. Um, you know, many people find that it still gives that winding down, that slowing down um, feeling that you get um, with that glass of wine at the end of your day. So replacing that glass of wine with a half dropper or full dropper is another great way to unwind with CBD. Um, and then, you know, that's the droppers there. That's a, that's a good way to use it or the soft gel after dinner time, um, pairing it with dinner will pair it really nicely with that healthy fat, help that absorption. And soft gel does take a, you know one to two hours to kick in, but sometimes if you're someone who has dinner early and sleeps pretty late, um, you know dinner around maybe six or seven, take that soft gel and then it'll slowly release into your evening routine. You know, if you're someone who sleeps at 10 or 11, and then you can also have that extended support into your night of rest as well. Um, but in, in terms of other ways to use your CBD, we've also got those topicals, those really great bath and body products. So that Mindful Mineral Soak helps really well with easing tension, any muscle soreness. Um, you know, who doesn't like a nice warm bath at the end of your day? Um, and then for me personally, I really love using the daily treatment oil just within my skincare routine. Um, I use it as my last step after moisturizing. Um, I live with eczema. I do have some skin issues. Everyone is very different. So for me, it does help a little bit of that redness that I get on my face. Um, and it has been really helpful. So if you haven't tried that daily treatment oil, really great way to just add it into your nighttime routine. And that aromatherapy of the, the, the treatment oil or if you're using the bath bomb is a really great way to have, have that aromatherapy kind of into your nighttime routine as well. Um, and then when we get into sleep time, Sleep time, you know, it's all about regulating that sleep, but winding down and getting ready for bed is really important in that sleep hygiene, kind of setting yourself up for a good night of rest so that you're not tossing and turning or taking hours to fall asleep. So, of course, you know, considering turning your phone off, putting away your electronics so that you don't have that blue light screen, of course, at least an hour before bedtime. Um, so, you know, when you start that nighttime routine, those drops, they take about 15 to 30 minutes to kick in. Um, so if you're taking it right before bedtime, that's totally all right. Everyone is a little bit different. So it's about some experimentation um, with what works best for you. But, you know, I, I like to take that half dropper about 30 minutes before bedtime, sit in bed, kind of just do some of that deep breathing we did right before we started here. Um, and then, you know, read a book. Um, of course, nighttime TV is, is an easy thing to do, but staying away from screens can really help that regulation um, of just that sleep cycle, really getting your mind and body ready um, and signaling that it's time for rest. Um, so just focusing on activities that don't include the screen, um, whether that's some nighttime stretching, um, just have a conversation with some people in your family. Um, so just really different ways to unwind with CBD. Um, but all of this information, all of these tips um, are available if you're a reader, if you like seeing things written down, you can always go to myeq.com forward slash blog. We always have great blog posts coming out with examples and tips and other ways to unwind. We're always hearing different feedback. Um, a lot of these ideas here were gathered from our dosage specialists. So, you know, we're, we're always using CBD in different ways. So if, if you're unsure of how to use CBD in your nighttime routine, your end of the day routine, um, if you haven't already, you can always book a consultation with one of us. Um, we would love to give you some tips and ideas, but I'll, I'll just quickly see if there's any, any questions in our chat here. Um, let's see. Yes, Crystal, using the soft gels at nighttime instead of your drops. If you're someone who wakes up in the middle of the night, 
Um, you toss and turn, take a couple hours to fall asleep. If you haven't tried the soft gels, that slow, that slow steady release is a really good option there. Um, I personally do take that soft gel after dinner and then the drops before bedtime. So a little bit of both, that's a really good nighttime routine. I do focus on that sleep time. Um, and then, I mean, I, I have these in front of me. I totally forgot if you have these roller duos, um, you know, just putting some on the back of your wrist, the calming lavender is really great. Just um, to, to signal the mind and it's time to calm down. Um, or, you know, last week, couple weeks ago, we had Deborah talking about the relief cream. Um, you can do that relief balm as well. Just loose that tension, um, inhale that aromatherapy. So um, yeah, it, it, it's, I'm really glad that some people hopped in here. I hope you're able to try some of these unwinding tips and tricks. Um, and if you ever have any new tips, um, new things that you tried and found helpful, we'd love to hear about it. We're always taking new feedback and, and ideas. So um, just a, a quick little check-in with everyone. I hope everyone is having a really great day and I hope that you can try some of these tips. But I hope we see you next week on our next EQ&U. Have a good one, guys.